You know, I've never understood the thought process that some women have. Like, you can't see me in my underwear, but if we go swimming and I wear a bikini, that's totally acceptable. Anyways, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Today, we're going to be talking about Iggy Azalea. Iggy Azalea. Iggy. Yeah. Honestly, I had no idea that this woman even existed anymore. She had a couple songs go viral, and then after 2014, it's like she just disappeared. You know what didn't disappear, though, is that fucking dump truck she has. Now, unfortunately, I haven't had sex with Susan yet, so I am not able to upload things like this in my videos. But don't worry, that day is coming. It should be pretty easy to find because there's a lot of dudes that have a lot of free time and they spend it doing things like this. So basically, they did a comparison of Izzy's ass uh, back in the day versus now. And it's pretty clear to tell she got a BBL, which if you don't know, that stands for Big Booty Liquor. I'm just kidding. It stands for Brazilian Butt Lift. If you don't know what that is, it's basically, you know, you know how like girls go into these uh, doctor's offices and they leave with uh, bigger boobies? It's like that, but, you know, not with... Uh, Anyways, and unfortunately, I once again have to censor the video, okay? Trust me, guys, I don't want to do this, but Susan makes me. And the only way I can get around this is if you guys leave a like on the video so Susan will see this video, and then she'll realize that she needs to get a taste of this pig's bacon. And once I cream pie her, she'll put me in the algorithm. She'll let me do whatever I want. It's going to be great. So anyways, let's roll the clip. I almost forgot to mention that I'm going to post the uncensored video on my Twitter, so if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description below. Basically, I think we're all going to be in agreement here of once you see the actual clip, uh, I mean, that ass is fucking jiggly as hell, like unnaturally jiggly, you know what I'm saying? Now, as an adult man, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, that's great, I fully support that, you know, I, hell, I even encourage it, but just imagine being a father and your eight-year-old daughter walks up to you and says, Dad, I really want to go to this Iggy concert. Clearly, your daughter looks up to this woman and you take her and, uh, this is what you're greeted with. Anyways, this clip started going viral on Twitter, and one woman quote tweeted it and said, Iggy really be tossing that big MF. Now, when I read that, I take that as a compliment. I mean, at least I do. Maybe I'm the only one here, but Iggy got fucking pissed, and she quote tweeted that saying, it's a good thing I genuinely feel happy about myself and my body because y'all stay in the comment section talking the most shit about me and it's very mean-spirited and ugly. P.S. Your man 100% wants to fuck me. Now, some of you may not have understood that, and I get it, you know, it's kind of difficult to wrap your head around, so let me explain this in basketball terms. LeBron has a slam dunk. LeBron feels bad for the other team, so he gives them the basketball on purpose, and then when they score on LeBron, he gets pissed at him. I know it may have been a little confusing at first, but I hope that really helped drive that one home for you. In all seriousness, though, I found this article. It kind of does help break down the situation and what actually happened here. After a Twitter user shared a video of Iggy twerking that drew mixed reactions, the rapper has responded to those trolls who feel the need to comment on her body. The clip shows Iggy performing while at the 2022 Long Beach Pride Festival in Cali earlier this month. Iggy really be tossing it, that big MF, wrote the Twitter user. While some echoed the sentiment, others suggested they weren't so eager to see the Australian rappers twerking. After she saw the responses, Iggy decided to shut down the critics. Now, do you guys remember when I started this video, I said in the intro, it doesn't make sense to me how women will be upset if you see them in their underwear, but if you see them in a bikini, it's completely acceptable. Now, here is why I made that statement in the beginning, and this is going to be difficult to wrap your brain around, so just prepare to catch a case of the stupids. I'm warning you. All right, now, moving forward. Iggy wants a bigger ass, so she goes out and pays someone to inject her ass and make it big great no issues she then takes that big ass or the dump truck caboose whatever you want to call this thing takes it on stage with her to one of her concerts 
where she then proceeds to wear skimpy clothing, bend over in front of the entire crowd, and shake her butt cheeks back and forth for everyone to see. And for some reason, that's totally acceptable with her. I mean, she is the one who made all of those decisions. But yet, someone says, damn, that ass is big, and she gets all fucking butthurt about it? Like, what? That doesn't even make sense. This poor chick on Twitter, bro, she really caught a stray for nothing. I mean, she was just out here showing love, you know, worshipping that ass, as some might say. And Iggy got fucking pissed, saying, everyone's talking shit about me, and it's very mean-spirited. <laughs> Come on, dude. You know, when someone gives me a compliment, typically I just say, like, oh, thanks, or something, you know? I don't, I don't say, like, hey, fuck you, you stupid fuck. Oh, and by the way, your wife wants to sit on my dick. I don't know if maybe she just took this the wrong way, or maybe she actually is offended that someone said she has a big booty, and she don't want to have a big booty, apparently. Oh, you know what I just thought of? Some of you might not understand what I said, so let me explain that in basketball terms right quick. LeBron makes a half-court shot at the end of the buzzer. Everyone's going crazy and praising him, and LeBron just flips off the entire crowd, telling everyone to go fuck themselves. I mean, if that didn't make sense to you, then at that point, I don't think anything will. So I'm wasting my time. You know what I'm not wasting though? Is the world's greatest channel members because god damn do I appreciate them. We have Savarstis and that's it. Guys, thank you so much for your support. It really does mean everything to me. If you would like to support the channel yourself, consider becoming a member today. But uh, more importantly, fellas, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video so I can do naughty things with uh, the almighty Susan algorithm. I can post. Yeah, yeah, I already went over this. Anyways, you guys know the drill. I'll catch you guys next time. Later. Right, and just don't don't just be nice to girls just because you want to date them. Okay, be nice to girls because you're a nice person. Bye, I love you. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for all your support and watching. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, but uh, more importantly, fellas, I hope you don't mind that we just take a break from the e-girls, at least for today. Actually, I think I got something you'll want to see, alright? My husband and my sister had some fun in front of me when I was at my fattest. Do you guys see the problem with this situation here? If not, let me help you out. Nowhere in that message did I hear the word ex-husband. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Anyways, today we're going to be talking about a guy that goes by the name of Jake Lucky. Now, most of you have probably heard of him, but if you haven't, let me go ahead and explain what he's like, alright? He wakes up every morning breathing the same air you and I do, but the difference between us and him is that he wakes up with the mindset every single morning of whose career can I fucking demolish today. And I know there's going to be someone out there that says, well, Doc, all you do is talk shit about other people. And, well... You are correct. I do do that quite often, actually. The difference is I do it and I own it. I own what I say. And also, I just critique the way that people handle themselves and their actions. For instance, the whole situation with Gideon and Pokimane right now. I might say some things along the lines of, I think what Pokimane is doing is fucking bullshit. And I think she needs to change the way she's acting. I may criticize the way people handle themselves. And to me, that is perfectly acceptable, all right? But this guy Jake on the other hand, little Jakey Poo, he's out here calling for people's careers and that's just something I can't get behind. Even if I don't fucking like you, if I want to straight up smash your face with my fist, I'm still not going to wish that your career just ends overnight. So that's one of the main reasons I can't fucking stand this guy. He's doing everything he can to try to cancel anyone who does not align with his viewpoints. The second reason is he is literally ruining the fucking internet, okay? He's trying to turn everyone into a pussy and I just, I cannot get behind that. It's people like this that ruin the fun and everything, dude. For instance, GTA 6 is now going soft. It has to have a female lead role, which is fine. I really don't care. But now they're also going to be scaling back on offensive humor and words. And like, dude, do we not realize we're playing fucking Grand Theft Auto? The entire objective 
objective of this game is to hose down people with assault rifles, steal drugs, pick up hookers, and run people over with cars. Like, that is literally some of the most offensive and crude things you can do in, in history, like in the fucking world, man. But yet someone calls you a dirty whore and now, all of a sudden, whoa, that is completely unacceptable. I cannot believe you just called me that. And honestly, dude, it just fucking sucks, man. Like, these people, these fucking pussies, it, rather than just not playing a game that's offensive and violent, rather than just not playing the fucking game, they have to cancel these companies and make them change it so that they can be appeased. I tell you what, why don't you people appease me by getting on your knees, cowboys, and sucking me off with them toothless gums? Just like Trevor said back in GTA 5, that is, uh, right after he got done plowing the cowboy's wife, of course. Anyways, I'm not trying to make this whole video about GTA, but I'm just saying Jake Lucky is turning everyone on the internet into a fucking pussy, and it really sucks, man, it really sucks, you know, I wish I could get these individuals out from under being brainwashed, but I don't think it's possible. And the last main reason reason that this guy blows fucking horse pussy is because he's a hypocrite and according to keemstar he hates black people so yeah there's that so what i mean by that is jake lucky has tried to cancel this guy speed several times okay and most of the time it's just because speed has a lot of followers he just hit 10 million subs on youtube it's funny that keem is trying to twist this into a whole jake lucky is racist type thing but in reality he's i, I really don't think he's racist in fact, you know, he just goes after this kid because he has 10 million subs and Jake Lucky wants a little cut of that pie, if you know what I'm saying. Anyways, the first time that Jake tried to get Speed cancelled was after he just told some girl in an online video game to go do the dishes. Like, really? This is what we're trying to cancel people over nowadays? This is something every man has done in his life. Anyone who's ever played Call of Duty, at some point you were a teenager and you told someone to go do the dishes or that you bent their mom over and railed her fucking ass last night and the funny thing is jake says that he loves trash talk he just wants it to be clean that's about as fucking clean as you can get in an online video game okay he could have said so many worse things but i guess if you tell someone to go make you a sandwich on call of duty now you deserve to lose your job at least according to jake but that wasn't enough for him so he actually saw that speed got a minecraft blowy the other day straight up just a minecraft mod of him turning the screen on and off really quickly and you couldn't see shit dude it's fucking minecraft it just squares on a screen so i guess jakey doesn't like getting blowies on minecraft and i don't either i don't even play minecraft but again i wouldn't lose my mind and call for this person's career to be ended because they wanted to show this on their stream anyways just remember that getting a blowy on the most pixelated game in gaming history is unacceptable not allowed but teabagging people is totally cool, and Jake's all for putting some nuts on someone else's forehead. Like, look at this right here. He tweeted out the other day, Patty the Batty teabagging his opponent like it's MW2. Man's a legend. Oh, so skull fucking someone in real life is totally fine, but again, you see a square go into someone's mouth on a fucking video game. The thing is, man, if you don't like watching that type of content, or any content that could be, here's what I do, alright? I typically click this button right here and it closes it off of my screen wow that's so crazy man it's almost like if you don't enjoy watching something you could just turn it off rather than calling for their whole fucking career to be ended either way this guy is a fucking loser he's a con artist I, I don't know how anyone actually respects what he has to say i'm just out here trying to keep the internet fun and jake lucky wants everyone to be a pussy and cry in the closet which is fine if that's what you want to do but i don't push my opinions on you people like i'm not like holding your eyes open with fucking clothespins saying you're gonna watch this minecraft dick get sucked and you're gonna like it you don't see me doing that i don't push my opinions on these people so i would appreciate it if they would just back the fuck off you know so kindly anyways fellas that's gonna be it for today's video thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it i want to give a shout out to the world's greatest channel members of all fucking time we have genitals savarstis and that's it guys thank you so much for your support it really does mean everything to me if you would like to support the channel yourself consider becoming a member today but uh more importantly fellas be sure to subscribe to the the channel if you are new leave a like on the video so i can give susan my seed and i will catch you guys next time later
where people would try to accredit a female streamer's success to their male partner. Shut up, bitch! The girls, girls don't like responsibility. They want another man to be responsible for fucking everything. They want to come along and say we're equal, da da da, until it comes to responsibility. Then, oh, sh someone's got to pay the bill. We're well, a man. Oh, sh <laughs> that's not our responsibility. Oh, that's not my responsibility. Andrew Tate is someone that has taken the internet by storm. I don't know if I've ever seen anything like this before. Anyways, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. If this is your first time watching a video with Andrew Tate, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. You're probably going to watch 15 more after this. This guy's popularity has literally skyrocketed just within the last month. And the best part about it is that men love him and women, well, feminists, fucking hate him. And as most of you know, anything that will upset the pink hair Oompa Loompas is usually pretty funny. Anyways, today we're going to be checking out Andrew Tate on the Full Sin podcast. And I can't lie, I've only made it about halfway through this podcast. It is fucking amazing. I literally, I can't get enough of it. Most men intrinsically agree with a lot of the things I say. Man, so, yeah. I'm surprised no feminists have ever come at, like, come for your neck. No, no, they've tried. But, but how can you come for my neck? First, let's call him a misogynist. Yeah, I'm a misogynist. Okay, next. You're sexist. Yeah, probably. Next. Okay, I'm gonna cancel you. Don't give a fuck. I ain't got, I ain't got nothing to cancel. I want everyone else's account. I ain't got an account. Next. Okay, well, you're a misogynist. Like, it's just a circle. They don't have any weapons. Yeah. How are you gonna sit there to the dude sitting with a bunch of beautiful women in yeah. his mansion and yeah. then say, you're, you're a sexist. You're ugly. You're a three. It's funny because this is literally the argument that 99% of feminists will use. And if you guys don't remember, I made a video talking about bone marrow babies where feminists were saying they don't fucking need men anymore. We're, we're useless to them at this point. Essentially, they were trying to say that by using their own bone marrow, they can repopulate the earth. But the thing is... You can't quite fucking do that, all right? If you do a simple Google search, you'll realize, oh, wait, that's not real. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, hey, guys, how are we doing? Either way, I had a metric shit ton of pissed off feminists in that comment section, and it was great, honestly. But look at the arguments they're bringing up. Just remember, one in three women are raped once in their life. What in the actual fuck? Like, ain't no one talking about rape. Where, where the hell did this argument even come from? Honest to God, to summarize the entire video, it was feminists will make babies out of their own bone marrow so they don't need men. The problem with making babies out of bone marrow is with modern technology it's just not possible and if you try it you're gonna get like some old cattywampus looking penis thing that's it that's the whole fucking video nowhere it, did i ever mention anything about women getting bent over without their permission it just goes to show that feminists will bring up the same three fucking arguments no matter what topic you try to oppose on them so uh with that being said let's see what else he has to say like a lot of these feminists are fucking they're so busted like you, if you're gonna be a feminist, at least get hot first. Because if you're hot, <laughs> you'll matter. Oh, the hot bitch said this. You ever think? Those but if the ugly <laughs> bitch said this, oh, you hear what the ugly bitch said? Oh. Have you ever heard? Of, no one cares. Nobody cares. You're ugly. Yeah. Just nobody cares. I understand why you're mad. I'm me, and the hot bitch is with me. I get it. You're mad at God. It That's fine. Hurt. But but. <laughs> what are you going to do? Cancel me? I don't care. Make a, a video. Keep making videos. I don't care. And that right there is the reason this man is blowing up the fucking internet. He doesn't care. He's saying the things that most people are scared to say nowadays. And honestly, that's just straight up sad. It's pathetic that every famous athlete or anyone with a platform cannot come out and say what they truly think. Some people just want to please everyone. They're going to try and tiptoe around all these difficult discussions. But yet, how are you supposed to grow as an individual if you don't ever have these tough talks, these confrontations, I mean, that's the same reason. Think about Twitch right now. They're taking down people like Gideon. They're removing emotes. Actually, just today, that fucking square-eyed loser Jake Lucky tweeted out something about them removing emotes because it had the L dance on their forehead. That's how soft we've become. You can't tell someone L because they fucking lost. They lost in a video game and they're crying about it. And you know, the funny thing about that is that every person who tries to be woke and not engage in these type of discussions 
ends up not being woke enough. One day, you're going to piss off some sort of minority and they're going to come after your neck. So you might as well just run the platform or think how you want to think as an individual. I don't mean that in a bad way, right? Because I'm sexist both ways. I try and say this all the time, but no one can seem to fathom it, especially not feminists with their minuscule brains. You know, man, I'm using every ounce of energy I can right here to try and prove this man wrong. I fucking can't. I just can't do it. I can't disprove this man because I guarantee you there's some ugly ass feminist in this comment section right this second writing me a pretty dirty message and not dirty in the way that I would like to get a dirty message. There are certain things in the world that I only trust men with and there's certain things in the world that I only trust women with. I'm not talking about superiority, because superiority is field dependent. Men are better at certain things. What's Women are the better? Ones Honestly, I think he makes a great point here, and this has kind of always been my ideology in life, and that's that men and women both have their strengths and weaknesses. Why not try and go through life playing off of each other's strengths rather than trying to be inclusive for everyone? Like, for example, let's say you're going to play a game of basketball and your teammates are Kevin Hart and Shaquille O'Neal. Kevin Hart may want to dunk, but guess what? But his short ass ain't getting up there 10 feet tall. And maybe Shaq wants to try and knock down some three-pointers. Guess what, big boy? You're like one for 354, so I think you'll do better down low. However, if we switch the two individuals and they play off of each other's strengths, Shaq is a big-ass motherfucker. He will dunk on any goddamn person that walks in his way. He should be the one down low, even if he doesn't like it. It's what he's good at. He is literally made to do that. And you can apply this to real life. Like, let's say you drop your kid off at a daycare. Are you going to feel better dropping him off in the building that has a bunch of women and maybe a couple men mixed in? Or are you going to take him to a daycare ran by 35-year-old dudes? Like, you know, good try, but no, just, just no. Or even think about the NFL right now. This is probably the best example I can give you. In the NFL, they are making it mandatory that you hire women as coaches. Or they at least got to be on the staff and shit now, right? If they truly are the best candidate for the position, then by all means, they deserve the job. But you should not be forced into hiring someone just to be inclusive. Who cares if they got a sweaty pussy? Can they call a good fucking play on fourth down? The cheapest car I possibly own. I would not let a female drive. So I'll tell you why the consequences are big of a female driving your car. Because females have no innate responsibility or honor. Give your boy a car, right? He crashes it. Bro, I fucked up. I'm going to pay this off. I'm going to get to work. I'll get another job. Bitch crashes your car. Well, it wasn't even my fault. That guy came out of nowhere. I didn't even know. Yo, I didn't even know. And, so and you right. have loads of money. And you have loads of cars. Just buy a new one. And I can't afford it. And then, and then if you get too <laughs> tough to her, look, you better fucking pay. She's just going to block you and fuck some other guy. Honestly, it pains the fucking hell out of me to know how right this man is. I know Juice World said that all girls are the same and everything. But this is one of those very, very rare instances where I don't feel like that applies. And I'm talking about... About the 1% here, okay? There is like 1% of women in this world that might actually take responsibility for their actions. But think about all those white chicks that are just trying to party with like Rick Ross and Drake out there in LA right now. If they wrecked one of Drake's supercars, are they going out there to their own insurance company and saying, hey, look, I made a little whoopsie on the weekend. No, fuck no. Why would they? They ain't got any money. Instead, they're going to do this right here. Well, it wasn't even my fault. That guy came out of nowhere. I didn't even know. Yo, I didn't even know. So and you right. have loads of money and you have loads of cars. Just buy a new one. And Anyways, fellas, that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I highly doubt this is going to be the last time we see Andrew Tate on this channel, by the way. You know what else we're going to be seeing a lot more of here on the channel is the world's greatest channel members. We have Jenna Tolls, Savarstis, and that's it. Guys, thank you so much for your support. It really does mean everything to me. If you would like to support the channel yourself, consider becoming a member today. But uh, more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video so I can, you know, with Susan. Yep. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Later. And we would never let her do. I don't let women drive me in cars. Everyone loses their mind when I say this. I'll drive. Never. That's never. The chick ever drove your Bugatti. Fuck. What the fuck? Who? Who that's, is this guy? That's Cap. No! Where people would try to accredit a female streamer's success to their male partner. Shut up, bitch!
know what you may be thinking. Isn't that the fat viral babbing girl? And yes, the answer is yes. Even though babbing isn't proven to work scientifically, old Jules here not only attracted men and free gifts for men and free drinks for men, but your girl attracted all the success that came from babbing as well. You know what, man? Lately on the channel, I've been very respectful of others, I feel like. I've been trying to tiptoe around all the different avenues Mrs. Susan is trying to cook me with. And you know what, fellas? I think that ends today. I've met a lot of people in my lifetime, and especially a lot of women. Now, I will say, I mean this with everything I'm about to say. When a woman wants to tell me that she is a feminist, I instantly assume that she is mentally retarded. And I'm not trying to be mean when I say that, but, you know, like, I've met a lot of stupid people over my lifetime, and you gotta be a dumbass to think of something like this. Really, you just have to. I understand that vabbing is a relatively new thing in the world, but, you know, I've never heard of a man, like, shooting some jizz in his hand and stuffing it in his ear hole or anything like that. This is just literally something that some fat-ass woman was sitting around on a park bench getting pissed because men are, well, the patriarchy, excuse me, is ruining the world, and, uh, it's really not. It's really not. You just have way too much fucking free time on your hands and you think that for some reason rubbing your vagina juices all over your neck is going to solve the world's problems. News flash, it's fucking not. Now I know what some of you are probably thinking, Doc, there's no way in hell anyone could be supporting this. I literally type vabbing in on the internet, this is the first thing that pops up. So apparently there's this new thing called vabbing. And it's not something I would do, but power to you if you wanna you wanna vab. Look it up, I guess. Now listen, I'm not going to sit here and say that this is disgusting. I can't believe these people are doing this. Because I I love pussy. I really do. I love vagina. I stick my tongue in it. I taste the juices myself, so you know what? I don't even mind the smell. Really, I don't. So I'm not gonna sit here and say that this is just disgusting. I can't believe women are doing this. But it's just like, why? Why the fuck are you wasting your time? Throw some fucking perfume on like a normal person. I do know some fellow out there are probably just gagging in their mouth at the thought of having to smell a dirty vagina. Again, I don't care, but like, I'm not going to smell this and think, damn, damn, that shit smells good. Anyways, I'm sure I said this earlier, I honestly don't fucking remember right now, but if I didn't, vabbing is when a woman sticks her two fingers into her pussy and then takes the juice, she swirls them around in there and then takes the juices and like rubs them behind her ear and on her neck and stuff, so that away when a man sniffs in that area, he is then getting the smell of that woman's aroma. And for some reason, these brain-dead feminists think that it's actually helping them get dates. Like, after they get done vabbing, they'll have, like, all these different success stories. I went in for a job interview, and I walked out with the job like it was a cakewalk. Bullshit. You did not get the job because you smelt like a dirty pussy. You got the job because you did good at the interview, okay? Anyways, there's some rules, you know, some of these women have decency when it comes to vabbing, so uh, let's check out what those rules are. Shower and or bathe before you vab. Number two, wash your hands before you vab and of course after you vab. Number three, if you go to the gym just like me, make sure to wipe down the equipment before and after use, which you already should be doing. That's proper gym etiquette. Number four, the areas you vab normally are behind your ear and on your wrist. Those are normally surfaces that don't touch other things. Although I think this is probably one of the worst, not the worst, but one of the worst ideas I've seen in a long time. I at least gotta give them a little bit of respect. They're not out here rubbing their vagina juices all over like everyone's sandwich at Subway and shit. I at least respect that, you know, uh, but... Again, why? And the next rule of vabbing is that if you're on your period, you probably shouldn't be doing that. Listen, I think that's a great idea. You should not be rubbing blood on your neck and wrist and letting them dry and let them fucking stink for everyone in an elevator to smell. And while I'm sure uh, most frequent vabbers are probably not going to be doing that, you guys know there is some crazy bitch out there that just, she just has to do it for absolutely no reason, in fact. Again, if some feminist rubs her vab juice all over 
over her. It's cute. It's different. It's outgoing. But if I shoot fucking jizz in my eyeballs and walk around New York with fucking slime running out of my goddamn eye sockets, okay, I'm a weirdo for some reason. It's crazy how that works. And of course, if you have an unusual smell or any bad odor down there, please refrain from babbing and of course, contact your doctor. You don't need a whole lot of your own scents and juices for a successful VAB. Just a simple damp VAB on your wrist and behind your neck will work perfectly fine. I'm still new to this and I don't know a whole lot, but VABbing is simple to do and if you end up doing it, please let me know how it goes. Do not attach any association of this to me whatsoever. I have nothing to do with such idiocy, such blasphemy, such ridiculous nonsense. This is so disrespectful. Anyways, I think we all have a pretty good idea by now that vabbing is just some other bullshit thing. These women on TikTok that have no lives, nothing to do with themselves. They just sit around and finger themselves all day apparently and they came up with a vabbing and they think it's a great idea and it's going to solve all the world's problems. If anything, I think it's just going to cause more problems because next time I conduct an interview and a woman walks in the room and I say, what the fuck is that smell? I'm probably going to have a pretty good idea of what's going on. Honestly, when I first heard the word vabbing, I thought it was going to be vaping out of your puss hole, but it's not. So I don't know which one's worse, to be honest, though. I, I really don't know. I would think option number two, you know, I don't, I can't imagine like shoving, you know, objects like that up there is going to do you much good, but at the same time and be in the privacy of your own home, you wouldn't be like, I would hope you're not breathing in fucking cig smoke through your, anyways, this commentary is getting a little out of hand. I think I need to end it here. Fellas, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. As for those of you that have made it this far in the video, I do have a little bit of an announcement here and it's probably not going to go over super well with most of you. I am going to be cutting back on uploads here on the channel, probably for a little bit at least. Honestly, I prefer to upload at least twice a week and I'm going to continue to try to do that, but at the same time, dude, YouTube is fucking dead. Like, it is beyond dead. We're about three months away from having to take this shit out behind the barn, but, uh, dude, this platform is not doing good at the moment. Every channel I can find is down in views right now. Literally everyone is stagnant. No one's really growing on the platform. And to top it all off, you know, it'd be one thing if that was the only problem with the website, but e-girls are not doing dumb shit. There has been no butthole shown this year. There's been no bad Bad things that e-girls have done they've been relatively tame and obviously as you guys know that makes my life a little bit harder honestly though it's not even just like e-girls dude there's fucking nothing happening on twitter on youtube shit's just dead this year and i mean that's probably a good thing because more people are going outside and doing shit but you know it just it makes it difficult for youtube anyways just to summarize what i'm talking about here because i ain't trying to drag this video out i am going to be uploading once a week still you know that's never going to change. Uh, but unless there's some news topics, some shit to cover, I mean, I can only watch so much dumb content on fucking TikTok before I myself am going to start licking windows. And I obviously don't want that to happen. Either way, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. You know what else I really appreciate? The people who don't lick fucking windows, okay? And that is the world's greatest channel members. We have Jenna Tolls, Savarstis, and that's it. Guys, thank you so much for your support. It really does mean everything to me. If you would like to support the channel yourself, consider becoming a member today, but uh, more importantly, fellas, okay, this is a little, I mean, the channel members are important too, don't get me wrong, but I need to, I need to hit Susan from behind, if you get what I'm saying, okay? Susan, that's a term of endearment, it really is, uh, you should consider yourself grateful. Anyways, subscribe to the channel if you're new, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and uh, I will catch you guys next time, later. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, today's video is probably going to make you very uncomfortable. In fact, I'm thinking back to the time in my life where, uh, things were a little dicey, if you know what I'm saying, alright? I walk in the band room, there's a bunch of Star Wars kids running around. I'm looking over in the corner, there's fat chicks drawing, like, guns and swords and sh- 
I just knew that this was not necessarily a place I should be. And it was at that very second that I turned around, walked directly to the counselor's office, and switched out of that class because I knew that is not an environment I should be in. Today's video is probably not a good environment that you want to place yourself in either. Now if you're not familiar, we're going to be talking about e-sex today, and essentially that is just where two people that love each other very much make sexual sounds and moan and scream out each other's anime names and uh i always thought that like the crack whores were just the freakiest people on the planet because you know they're doing anything they can to get that 20 bucks for their next high but i can't lie i think the discord community might have them beat jeez uh -huh. louise you're so tight girl it it's because um shut your uh -huh. trap and slob on my cracker cock uh -huh. No. No. Oh, good heavens, I'm about to splurge. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just drinking some drain cleaner over here. Now, don't get me wrong, the whole video is pretty fucked up, but like, did I hear that one part correctly? You want this girl to slob on your what? It's cause, um... Shut your trap and slob on my cracker cock. Now, I've heard of a lot of weird shit in the bedroom, okay, but what the fuck is this, man? I honestly don't know what's worse, the fact that he said it or the fact that the girl pretended to slob on his knob after he said that. I really want to believe that these two individuals just have little to no experience because I can't lie, dude. If I was in bed with a woman and she said something like, geez, Louise, that feels good. I think I'd just put my fucking clothes on at that point. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, like, Doc, that was bad, but there is no way in hell this gets any worse, right? <laughs> right? I'm inside. God, yes, I fucking love that cheesy floppy dick. Jeepers creepers, count me in. Oh, Lord. You take the thing, I'll take the thing. Roger that. I'm gonna stick it in auto. Oh, Suey mama, your cat is so succulent. Hold on, what the fuck did I just hear? I'm gonna have to censor that, otherwise I think Susan is gonna bend me over and fucking e-peg my ass. But he said something to the extent of your titties are very succulent for someone that probably is not able to tie their shoes at that age. Oh, you both feel so divine. Uh, your little ass is so good on my meat steak. Uh, fuck me harder, pizza daddy. This needs to be a fucking crime, okay? I don't know who this guy is. This is the same repeat offender, you know? Imagine that. Not only do we have this dude out here saying Zooey Mama when he sticks his dong inside someone, but he's pretending that she is super fucking young, dude. This guy needs to be on a list. This is fucking disgusting. You know what? All I'm gonna say about this is that if you go to school with this kid and you see him sitting by himself at lunch, it's probably a good idea you go over there and offer him a Cheeto or two, you know? Zoinks live, don't forget about me. <laughs> All right, don't leave me out either. Yes. You, like you mean it, Otto? Hey, Elon, do you need someone to go to Mars? Question mark. Even I can't deny that these videos are fucking hilarious, okay? When she's talking about wanting that cheesy dick from Pizza Daddy, like, dude, you can't be serious with me right now. And on top of that, when this man's like, Zooey Mama, that pussy feels good, like, I legitimately think you could probably make a full-on television show based around this man trying to spit game to women. Although I will say, you know, I'm sitting here laughing at him, and, uh, he seems to be doing something right, because we've seen him with two different women at this point. Now this is completely off topic and has nothing to do with this video whatsoever, but I've never had sex with a British woman, but I imagine it's a very different experience than uh, what I've been given here in the States. You know what I'm saying? Like instead of saying, I want that dick inside my ass, are they like, mmm, that dick is scrumptious or something? I don't know, dude. I've just always imagined the sexy talk is, you know, just a little bit different. Any, uh, any British fellas, you know, if you could help me out down in the comment section below if it's really like that or not. And I want to say one last thing before I end this video. A lot of dudes are always looking for a gamer girl, you know, because when a woman stays home all the time, she just plays video games. I think she's seen as like a pretty innocent person. Yeah, she's pretty innocent to the Discord server. 
You might be playing COD with the fellas, choking the clutch up when the time comes, and uh, your girl, she's choking on something else. Anyways, fellas, that's gonna be it for today's video. You know, I do apologize. Some of you may have sustained some mental damage from this video, but just remember, I think it's good for you, okay? Every now and then, you need a little kick in the rear to get you going. Or in this case, what really gets me going. <laughs> All right, don't leave me out either. Yes. You, like you mean it, Otto? Wow. All right, seriously, I've got to stop. I got to be done. I got to end this shit before Susan nukes my fucking channel. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Ooh, my goodness. I almost just fucking ended the video and I did not think the world's greatest channel members. We have Jenna Tolls, Savarstis, and that's it. Guys, thank you so much for your support. It really does mean everything to me. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a like on the video so I can do a little bit of this to Susan. And I will catch you guys next time. Later. what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel i hope you're all having a fantastic day you know who is having a good day this girl right here all right let's just say you know you're a father and your 19 year old daughter just moved out to go to college she's staying in a dorm room and you're like hey sweetie you should send me a picture of you in your new home and she sends you this picture and you're like oh my god she's so cute and innocent meanwhile she's getting and pile driven from behind by some random dude unfortunately i can't show it here in the video you know if you want to see the reflection in the window here you can do your own little research there it's not too hard to find but yeah essentially she let the plumber come over and check the pipes and uh she forgot to close the window before doing so honestly i shouldn't say it like that because this is clearly not an accident like this was all planned she was straight up getting pounded into the camera and moaning at the same time yeah go ahead and try and convince me that's an accident why don't you although you can't really see anything in the reflection i mean you see like two humans without clothes on like pushing into each other but you don't actually see anything you know of importance here either way i mean this is obviously way too fucking far even for twitch all right if twitch has to ban a woman you know it's pretty fucking bad right a man could just say something like oh i think women are not that great at driving you know it just in my experiences twitch is gonna fucking ban that man into oblivion but if a woman says like i fucking hate all men they all suck and they're all pigs twitch supports that they are on their side either way the point is if a man does something bad on twitch you know twitch has literally no sympathy whatsoever fucking cut that man we don't need him on the platform here but if a woman does something bad like twitch is like sweating fucking bullets they're like do we ban her do we not well, i don't know what to do man i don't really want to now with that being said this woman has been given a ban on the twitch platform for seven days that's it seven days for getting pounded in the puss bush and no issues whatsoever back to streaming like nothing ever happened like dude it's so fucking obvious that twitch is beyond bias at this point like they didn't even try to hide it you know what i'm saying just straight up if a woman does something bad yeah you know she messed up we'll give her a second chance though like I'm sure most of you remember, I think it's probably been close to two years by now, but misbehaving, spread her cheeks like the fucking Red Sea, backed up to the camera, and uh, we all got to see a part of the human body that I didn't expect to see on Twitch, and this girl got pounded in the bum, and you could see it in the reflection of the window, and seven day ban. Oh, and misbehaving got like three days. That's it. That is fucking it, man. These women are just straight up breaking every rule on Twitch, and they're still getting away with it. Let's be real for one second here, all right? If it wasn't for all of us getting pissed that men are being banned for the simplest shit, and all these women are walking away scot-free, I mean, Twitch wouldn't do fucking anything, dude. They, like, maybe send her an email like, hey, could you please not do that again? But if a man were to show, actually, I take that back. A man did show his dong on stream. It was not that long ago. He got caught shaving his meat on stream and he's gone. He's done for. Career is over at this point. And just to further my point here, all right, I know this topic has been used and abused, but Gideon actually made a video calling out Twitch saying this is 
bullshit, by the way. All I did was raid someone and say L plus ratio, but yet this girl got a seven day ban and I've been banned for eight months now. Again, I don't even want to fucking talk about the topic because I'm just so over it at this point. But I mean, it really does go to show like if Gideon had some bitch bent over his countertop in the kitchen and was, you know, maybe uh, doing a little bit of the dirty. Do you think he'd catch a seven day ban? Probably fucking not, right? In my opinion, he has every right to be upset. Now, with that being said, you know, one big thing they're not really talking about here, it's not like this woman came out and said, I'm so sorry, I should not have been doing that. I don't know what I was thinking. None of that bullshit, right? She came out here and actually made a post saying, has nothing to do, seek to occupy their life. What the fuck are you talking about right now? I will say she is a Spanish streamer, so maybe her English isn't the best here, but I don't even know what she's trying to fucking communicate at this point. At least for me, the message I'm getting here is like, fuck all these people talking shit to me right now. They don't know who I am or what I do. You know, the typical girl shit, like whenever they get called out for doing something that they were 100% doing, but they still don't think they're in the wrong. Anyways, just to summarize today's video, Twitch is fucking ass, all right? This woman fucked up. She should be banned for like, I don't know, man, two weeks, a month, like something to where it's like, hey, don't fucking do that again or you're gone, kind of, you know, a consequence. But this was really just asking her not to do seven days for, for getting your cheeks beat on camera on a gaming platform that is meant for younger audiences. Come on now, dude. Either way, Twitch sucks. It's a dog shit platform. I don't know why people still use it, all right? It's really nothing special. If I want to watch a live stream, I really don't anymore, but if I did want to, I'll find one on YouTube that's just as good of quality, if not better, all right? With that being said, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Shout out to the world's greatest channel members. We have Jenna Tolls, Savarstis, and that's it. Guys, thank you for the support. It really does mean everything to me. Also, we have two uploads this week. I forgot to mention that. Going to be having another one later on throughout the week here. And uh, yeah, that's because there's shit actually happening now. There is shit actually going on on the internet. And e-girls are finally starting to fuck up, man. It took eight months this year for something to happen. But it finally did. So you know what? I will gladly capitalize on it. I hate to say it, but that's really the main reason I've I've went down to one video a week because there's not shit to talk about right now. There's just not. Don't worry though, fellas. There will be some more videos on the way, especially when the new Call of Duty comes out this year. I fully expect everything to start picking up on YouTube. So with that being said, that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe so I can fuck Susan and her puss and uh, leave my white cream there with her. And uh, hopefully that'll help me do good in the algorithm, you know, because God, God, I, I need these videos to, to get up there, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, yep, I think that's enough. Goodbye, everyone. I will catch you later this week. Where people would try to accredit a female streamer's success to their male partner. Shut up, bitch! Um, there's two types of approval processes that you have to go to go through for these uh, competitions. The first approval is Twitch Rivals and Twitch approving you. The second one um, is the game company that's hosting the uh, event. Um, and I guess last night they decided to um, not approve me because of my um, adult work. You know, fellas, I can't lie. I never thought I would see this day come in my lifetime, all right? One of my favorite childhood actresses, or uh, excuse me, actresses from my childhood, let me clarify that right quick, is crying because she can't enter into a Fortnite tournament. Like, I can't lie. Life sucks, man. It really does. There's a lot of reasons to cry in life, and uh, not being able to play Fortnite is just, just not one of them. You know, I just realized, I don't think I ever actually explained what's going on here, but if you put two and two together, I'm sure you can come up with it pretty quickly. Adriana Chechik, one of the world's most famous P stars, applied to play in some Fortnite tournament. She got rejected because of her previous history. Now, I want you guys to take a mental note of how she was just acting, right? She was quite literally crying on stream, and then she says this. So, 
because of my past in my adult work, I have been bumped from it. <laughs> so I'm going to go for now um, because I'm going to call them. Um, and then I'll be back on in like maybe like 15 minutes. So yeah, so Epic Games didn't approve of my my background, but this is fine. Um, I'm, I'm used to this, so that's fine. Which is absolutely horrific, right? I, I truly don't know how I'm going to sleep tonight. But anyways, Epic Games denies this woman, says you're not playing in the tournament the very next day, okay? The very next fucking day. I'm trying so hard not to lose my mind. She is banned on Twitch for wearing this outfit. I know, it's very unfortunate. I had to censor the photo. It doesn't look that bad right here, but if you guys saw the original picture, you can look it up over on Dexerto's Twitter. But essentially, she just had some nipple pasties on. I mean, the tatas were out there, all right? Let's just call it how we see it. So I don't know how you go from this attitude of crying, moping, and woe is me, uh, to the very next day, practically playing video games naked in your room. Now, here's the big kicker, all right? Here's something I'm not seeing a lot of these fucking idiots on Twitter take into account. Who plays Fortnite? What is their demographic when they're trying to market the video game? While I know there are some adults who still play Fortnite, including myself, I mean, I haven't hopped on in a while, but I will from time to time, you know, whatever, right? I don't care. The majority of the player base is fucking like eight-year-old boys, all right? These kids don't even have fucking nuts in their sack yet. And obviously, no offense to uh, Miss Adriana here, but you're not exactly the right candidate for the job, which means... You can cry all you fucking want, but no one cares. You're just not a good fit for the opportunity. And I know that Epic Games sent her an email saying, while your previous pass doesn't exactly fit our criteria kind of a thing, whatever, right? It would be one thing if it was the past, but the very next day, the very next fucking day you are caught wearing this... Again, why the fuck are you crying? I know a lot of these adult film stars, they do this the whole sucking dick thing. They do it for a very short period in their lifetime, and then they move on to bigger and better things, and they think that their past should just be erased. Listen, Adriana, I watched you eat a cupcake out of another woman's asshole. That is not a picture that is leaving my mind anytime soon, all right? And that's not a joke, by the way. You can actually look that video up online. Actually, I don't even remember. It might have been coming out of her fucking ass. Either way, all I know is that some woman got a cupcake shoved where cupcakes don't usually insert the human body. And I watched another woman eat it out of that hole. It was fresh from the factory, all right? So, uh... Yeah, now that I've lost all the viewers on this video, I guess I'll go ahead and finish it out here. I understand that she might be very upset she didn't get selected to be in this Fortnite tournament, but you just gotta realize at the end of the day, you're just not a good fit for the community. I'm sorry, Adriana, but I don't think Timmy and Jimmy should be looking up your name at nighttime when they crawl into bed because they're probably gonna see you do a little more than build some 90s on Fortnite. If she was to apply for like a Warzone tournament, I'm sure she'd have literally no problems getting in at all. I mean, she has big tits and she's a woman, so instantly she's going to get a lot of viewers for Call of Duty. And plus, like their player base is already watching her anyway. So, you know, it's not really going to be a big deal. But as for the little ones, you know, the, the ones that are just now graduating to peeing in the urinals at school. Yeah, it's probably just best you stay away from that crowd, especially because you can say that this is all in the past and you you know, you're done eating cupcakes, but you can't be doing this the next day, all right? I don't know if maybe she was trying to be family friendly and then she got denied and she's like, all right, fuck it. You know what? I'm just going all out at this point. I hope that's the case of what actually happened, but I mean, no shot you're going to try and wear that during a Fortnite tournament, right? Like, look at what this fucking loser said, all right? I'm fine. I'm used to it, quoting Adriana here. That really sucks, AC. I'm sorry after all you've given the world, you know? All those videos of you taking dong in the fucking booty hole, you know? You really gave back to us, trust me. The world pays you back so poorly. Sex positivity is not about being weird to people in the adult film industry. Be chill, be nice. It ain't fucking about that, all right? It's about the fact Epic Games doesn't want to hear all these parents upset that little Timmy and Jimmy are stealing fucking credit cards and donating money to women wearing fucking nipple pasties while playing Fortnite. 
Honestly, dude, I just, I fucking hate this mentality that people nowadays have of the world owes me something, okay? I'm a good streamer. I deserve to be in that tournament. No, you fucking don't, all right? Listen, you just got to understand, you're not a good fit for this demographic. Why would they ever hire you? Because if a kid looks up your name online, they're just going to see like dicks in your fucking ass when they can go out and hire someone like Nick A30, who's a family friendly streamer, and he's not even going to say the word, oh, damn when I died because, you know, parents don't want their kids listening to that, all right? I don't make the fucking rules. I don't. I just, I don't even enforce them either. I just, like, talk about them, I guess. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Those of you who are still left, you know, I just want to say a little something something here. You might have noticed I haven't responded to any comments on the channel in a couple weeks, really, and I'm gonna continue to do that probably for about a month, all right? I'm testing something here on my YouTube channel. I am hoping that this is completely false but for the last month really every time I comment on one of my videos it dies it just dies in the algorithm for some reason and I'm not saying it is because I'm commenting I'm just saying you know it's a little weird coincidence there and uh I'd like to rule that out so probably for another week or two I'm not going to be responding to any comments and I'm hoping that that's not the reason these videos are dying. I really hope they're just dying because, you know, the view time or click through rate, whatever goes down. Don't worry though, I'm still actively reading all of the comments that you guys are posting. And you know what else I'm fucking reading? All right, guys, the world's greatest channel members. We have Genitals, Savarstis, and that's it. Guys, thank you so much for the support. It really does mean everything to me. If you would like to support the channel yourself, consider becoming a member today. But uh, more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a like on the video so I can do a little something something to susan you know what i'm saying i'm trying to get boosted in the algorithm man i gotta do what it takes and if it takes me cream pieing susan then so be it and with that being said uh subscribe to the channel if you're new leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and i will catch you guys next time later right and just don't don't just be nice to girls just because you want to date them okay be nice to girls because you're a nice person bye i love you i love you so much thank you so much for all your support and watching We work tirelessly in the WNBA. It's the most competitive league in the world. It's only 144 women mm. that get this blessing to have the opportunity. Oh, really? That's interesting because I've never seen anyone do this in the WNBA. Opening round series, Morant. Oh! A jawbreaker! I'm sure most of you know this by now, but if you don't, in the history, ever since the Women's National Basketball Association was formed, there's only been a record of like 15. And I, I might even be pushing the envelope a little bit there. I'm pretty sure it's actually 12 dunks in the history of the league. Now, with that being said, if you had a goal to find out what is the most bad dunk that has ever happened in the actual NBA, you're going to get hundreds of different answers. No one's ever going to agree. But with there only being 12 dunks in the history of the WNBA, I think it'd be pretty easy to determine like, oh, that was easily the most badass dunk I've ever seen. This is what popped up whenever I did a little research. Oh. <laughs> Like, really? This is what you have to show for? This right here? You're telling me this is the best dunk in the league. Meanwhile, no one's even fucking playing the game. They're all just standing around watching this girl throw down possibly the weakest dunk I've ever seen. In fact, you could pretty much call it a layup. Either way, man, every time I see ESPN post some bullshit tweet like, oh my god, this play was insane. I'm literally so fucking unimpressed. It's not even funny. Anyways, we're going to be checking out some interview. Obviously, it's going to be full of bullshit, you know, but it's some random WNBA player. Dude, no one knows these people besides the name Sue Bird because she wants to jerk off LeBron James. No one knows who these people are. No one cares. And uh, no one really wants to listen to them whine, but I kind of do right now. So let's see what she has to say. But more importantly, the pay disparity. How do you guys feel about that when you see the astronomical numbers that the NBA players make versus the pay grade that happens in the WNBA. Yeah, it's unfortunate. And a lot of us, you know, we obviously play for the passion and love for the game. Um, a lot of women play two seasons, going over season to off season. 
playing and then playing in the WNBA as well. So you could argue that we have a longer season and put in, um, you know, equal work. But you honestly can't make this up if you tried, dude. OK, so she says a lot of WNBA players, man, they're working their tails off. They're playing all season long and then going to other countries and playing another full season there. But you see, she kind of left out a little important part here. The WNBA only has 40 games a year. The NBA has 82, so you're already playing half of a season that a normal NBA team is. And that right there, fellas, is why no one takes these clowns fucking seriously, because they literally do it to themselves. And also, after an NBA season is completed, it's not like the players just sit around and do fucking nothing all day and get paid all right they're still playing overseas as well they have the olympics they got summer leagues but that's really weird because i don't hear them complaining you know we got a lot to do we got a lot to do we understand that um a lot of our naysayers are people that disparage women in sports in general and we understand that as well but um we have strides to make it's great seeing us having highlights from the you know on the worldwide leader and um you know people it's, it's all about exposure so we we work tirelessly in the WNBA. It's the most competitive league in the world. It's only 144 women mm. that get this blessing to have the opportunity. Let's start off with where she said the most people that nay say about the WNBA are those that don't support women's sports at all. That is not the case, all right? I've never once come on this platform and said, I think women who play softball fucking suck, okay? I have never once said that. No one has an issue with women's softball. You know why? Because they don't force it down my fucking throat. I just don't understand how companies like ESPN quite literally want to skull fuck equality into my brain. I mean, sure, that's fine, okay? I'll accept it. But when it comes to women's sports, the only thing I ever hear about is the WNBA. We have soccer teams. We have volleyball teams. Like, these people do not exist to ESPN, and I just quite literally don't understand that. Now, as for this woman saying the WNBA is the most competitive league in the world, you have me so fucked up, it's not even funny right now. This is one of those scenarios where if you look at it on paper, it probably does look very competitive. Like she said, there's only 144 spots available, but the amount of skills you have to have to just enter into the league, I mean, are so fucking minimal, dude. Like, there's actually only two requirements to get into the WNBA. First, you just either need to be a tall, skinny bitch, get rebounds, you know, try to dunk, but, like, you know, the expectations aren't exactly there, so you can you can do a layup if you need to. You probably will. Um, or you just need to be able to make, like, a free throw. That That's about it. Other than that, I mean, where's the competition, honestly? Nobody's really retiring, and every year it comes in great talent, so it's the highest level of basketball, and if you love basketball, um, you love the WNBA, and for us, we understand we still have strides to make in our young league, and, you know, we're growing our game both domestically and internationally. The high Highest level of basketball. The highest level of basketball. Do you guys know what makes the WNBA go viral, get views online? I'll give you a hint. It's not the level of play. No one ever like sees a highlight from the WNBA and is like, damn, that was a good shot. Or, oh my God, that was an insane dunk. Instead, it's just like, this one started in OnlyFans and this one says she wants more pay than LeBron. It's just funny because WNBA players literally never make headlines when it's basketball related. But anytime they say some outlandish shit, seems to catch on for some reason. You know, I told myself I wanted to end this video on a positive note so anytime you're feeling down in the dumps and you're just having a bad day just remember all you need to do is a fucking layup and you're instantly at the highest level of basketball michael jordan who that's what i thought it's more like skylar digging smith anyways thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it shout out the world's greatest channel members we have jenna tolls savarstis and that's it thank you all for the support i really do appreciate it if you want to support the channel consider becoming a member yourself subscribe to the channel if you're new leave a like on the video so i can cream pie susan on her face hole and i'll catch you guys next time later where people would try to accredit a female streamer's success to their male partner. Shut up, bitch!
Fellas, unfortunately, this is not a video that I want to make, but a video that I have to make. As many of you know, I like to talk about e-girls getting weird on the internet, but unfortunately, there's going to be none of that today, and instead, we're going to have a little powwow about the channel. If you follow me over on Twitter, you probably know a good extent of what's going to come, uh, but if you don't, basically, let me just say, fellas, e-girls are winning the war, and I, I can't simply do do anything about it. So on August 26th, I uploaded a video and um, was expecting it to go live in a couple days because normally when I upload a video, it takes like three days at the very most to approve a video. That way, you know, I can actually upload it, be monetized, all that good stuff. We're good to go. Like I said, normally that takes three days and I don't even like to wait three days, but you know, I don't really have an option. Now I've been waiting almost two weeks. That's right. Two fucking whole weeks of just sitting around waiting. And at first I thought, oh, Oh, that's weird you know maybe there's just some glitch in the system so I made another video and I uploaded that that has also not been approved that was uploaded on September 2nd the next day I uploaded a third video and it's still not approved either and the weird thing about this is that my channel is still monetized like some of these videos are still good they're still making money and I've received zero strikes that's like the real kicker you know I I've got a couple strikes here on the channel but I've won every single appeal and it's also been at least a year since my last appeal so you know it it's been a long time like the channel's been doing good for quite some time now it's just like out of fucking nowhere man Susan lubed up my asshole, spread it about six inches wide, and inserted both her fucking fists inside me. Now, as most of you probably know, you really do have to upload at least once a week on YouTube if you want your channel to actually ever go anywhere. And when your videos are taking two to three weeks to get approved, I mean, it makes it pretty fucking difficult to upload. Anyways, eventually I got to the point where I'm like, all right, what the fuck's going on? So I tweet at Team YouTube on Twitter. They send me to some chat room that I can speak to someone with. And this is what went down in the chat. It appears that the video in question is still pending a response on your appeal request in Creator Studio. Essentially what he's saying is... I fucking requested a review on the video. While most appeals are reviewed within seven days, on rare occasions it may take longer. At this stage, I cannot expedite the process since it is already pending and the team is working. Blah, 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 blah. Listen, here's the thing, man. I know I make content on e-girls, but dude, I'm not, I'm not completely fucking stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like, these reviews take like three days at the very most. And now it's been 14 and it's not doing any, like, it'd be one thing. They should send me a message like, hey, Dr. Bolo, love the vids, by the way, but our fucking employees need a break, all right? They're going to be taking a month or they're going to Greece, whatever. I don't care. Here's the thing. Could you give me a heads up so I know I need to upload a shit ton of videos before this date so they can get approved. And I'm just joking about it being personalized to my channel, but like, it would be nice if they said on the creator dashboard, Hey guys, we're taking a break. Get your shit in now so we can get it approved. But no, they don't, they don't fucking do that. Not that they ever will care about a channel with 10 K subs, but you know, it just, it'd be a little friendly gesture. Anyways, moving on, I said it usually takes three days, this is very unusual. Paul basically said, Shut the fuck up, Doc. I don't fucking care. This is not my problem. I said it's going to be reviewed. And then I said, you know, there's something wrong with my channel, dude. Oh, no, no, nothing's wrong with your channel at all. It's just for some reason we're not fucking approving your videos. And this fucking guy has the audacity to say, we appreciate your extended patience on this matter. Paul, listen, I'm being as patient as I motherfucking can, all right? You and I both know the algorithm wants to see at least one video a week. When it takes 14 days to approve a video, it makes uploading extremely difficult. Is there anything we can do to expedite this process and once again paul basically just said shut the fuck up i do not care i'm not gonna lie i really fucking hate making this video dude i hate like i just want to talk some shit online dude like that's really all i'm asking for susan please and you know, I was really thinking back to it, I'm like, I mean, I've said some things that are probably a little far on YouTube's terms of service, you know, like the jokes about me wanting to insert my cream inside of Susan's uh, orifices, you know, like they probably don't appreciate that, but also they should strike me, they should do something, send me an email saying like, don't fucking say that again. But I haven't got anything, dude. Like, literally nothing. Paul's acting like everything's all fucking fine and dandy. And, you know, he's gonna get good sleep tonight. But, I mean, like, dude, this 
this just fucking sucks. Like, when everything's out of your control, this is why I'll never fucking quit my job to do YouTube full-time. Like, it just simply doesn't make sense. There's too many factors that go into it. Basically, I just wanted to make a video letting you guys know, like, what the fuck is going on with the channel and why, like, I'm not really posting that much. I mean, if I'm being completely honest here, I don't know what the fuck to do. Do I go to my second channel and start uploading content there and just forget this shit? Or, like, do I just wait this out and hopefully, you know, they'll get their shit together within the next couple weeks and I can actually start uploading again? Dude, I, I don't know. I really don't have an answer. And now it's like, if I do go to the second channel, is the same shit gonna happen to me again? Are they just kind of, like, phasing out this type of content? As far as I know, I don't think anyone else is having issues getting their videos approved, but then again, the fuck do I know? Now, I do want to put a disclaimer out there, and God forbid this ever fucking happens, but just in case, if for some reason you wake up and the Dr. Bolo channel just does not exist, just know it wasn't fucking me, alright? Not in a million years would I ever delete this shit, so... Again, you know, I'm really hoping that does not ever happen, and I'm hoping, you know, maybe within the next couple of days, YouTube will just be like, you know what, Doc, we're sorry about that. We know you're the world's greatest gynecologist, and we apologize about that. Obviously, though, I have literally no control over anything of my channel, you know, even though it's my channel and my content, uh, I have no control over what's going on with it. Now, with that being said, everyone, thank you so much for watching the video. I apologize. I hate fucking making these videos, dude. I'd rather just fucking put a cactus in my anus, but... But you know whose anus I don't want to put a cactus inside of? That would be the world's greatest channel members. Guys, we have Victor Kinsey, Abby Blackbird, Savarstis, That's It, and Jenna Tolls. Thank you all so much for the support. I really do fucking appreciate you people, every single one of you watching these videos. Subscribe to the channel if you're new leave a like if you enjoyed the content and i will catch you all next time later all right we've got a lot to talk about <laughs> Yes, we do. We have a lot to discuss in today's video, including the attire you decided to wear, alright? I'm just saying that most of your 13-year-old fans and 43-year-old fans are all going to be looking in the same vicinity, which is approximately within this square right here, so hey! Hats off to you. you know how to get the views, all right? I ain't even hating. Anyways, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day as usual. So not that long ago, Pokimane released a video titled Why I Took a Break Plus What's Next for Me. I'm not going to say this video was absolutely horrible, but I am going to say, you know, that's really 14 minutes of my life. I'll never get back. Honestly, I could sum this thing up in about 30 seconds here, but why would Pokimane do that? when she could be extremely emotional and overly dramatic and make the video even longer so those dads have something else to jerk off to. Anyways, let's see what she has to say. If you didn't already know, shortly after I moved, I took about a month, over a month, break from streaming and content creation and social media and kind of just everything. I moved and I didn't realize like for the first couple weeks how much I had been putting off doing all the things I need to do to take care of myself. Decorating my new place, taking care of my stream room, which I'll show you guys soon. Even like finding grocery stores nearby that you like. Really, there's no way you're being serious right now. You took a month off of work so you could find a fucking grocery store? So you could decorate your apartment a little bit? Are you kidding me right now? So like I mentioned earlier, this video is 14 minutes long and it's mostly filled with just bullshit about her emotional health and her mental health. Listen, Pokimane, I don't know if you're just trying to face fuck my brain right now, but I don't feel bad for you. Like, not even in the slightest, alright? You are literally a millionaire living in one of the most expensive and nicest cities in the country. And you also had the ability to just take a month off work and know that you will have no issues. The mortgage, the rent, whatever, it's getting paid. You don't have to worry about where your next meal is coming from. I truly don't know why you're trying to make people feel bad for you, but we don't. And you shouldn't. You shouldn't feel fucking bad for this woman. She took a fucking month off of work to find a grocery store. Here, let's do a little experiment, alright? I am going to look for grocery stores in LA. Oh, 
Wow. Wow, that was actually- that was pretty quick, I can't lie. Anyways, now that I saved so much time by finding the grocery store, I guess I can just go home and decorate for another 29 days. How the hell is that even possible? I don't know, alright? I don't know what the fuck you do for 29 days that involves putting books on a shelf, but beats me, dude. But I do also recognize that putting myself out there so much, especially streaming, it revolves around this constant feedback loop of people telling you what they think of you. From seven second TikTok clips, to 10 minute YouTube videos, to 10 hour streams, and they all revolve around comments. What do people think of me? What are people reacting positively to? <laughs> yeah, who would ever make a video on Pokimane and put it on YouTube? Listen, if I'm being completely honest here, Pokimane probably doesn't deserve like 80% of the shit that she gets online. I mean, if you think about it, she's just some other thought recording herself with skimpy outfits on and uploading it on the internet for dudes to jerk off to and that's fine if that's who you want to be at the end of the day but like why do you care what people think of you online really i just i can't wrap my head around that one i mean i already don't give a fuck what people think of me or my youtube channel but i can promise you guys if i ever checked my comment section and saw someone trying to talk shit to me like why are you even gonna entertain the argument at that point you're rich guess what that stupid fuck has to go to work at 9 a.m monday morning but you if you want to take today off i mean fuck it let's go to the bahamas and eat lunch so yeah i don't understand why pokimane would ever even like care what someone said about her i mean i'm sitting here this is coming from someone who talks shit about pokimane why would you ever care what i have to say about you, you guys realize it or not there's such a pressure on streamers to follow every trend, to capitalize on viewership, to stream longer than the guy next to them or the guy that they share similar viewership with. Like it's just a hyper competitive industry. But ultimately the reason I say this is because I'm just at a point in my life where it doesn't feel creatively fulfilling to feed into that anymore. I said it once and I'll say it again, this is what my face looks like and this is about how much sympathy I have for you. So to summarize what Pokimane just said, she feels a lot of pressure from everyone to follow the newest and hottest trends when it comes to gaming and streaming, that way she can continue to get more views and ultimately make more money. But here's the thing, alright, when the hottest trend was playing Among Us with a bunch of other famous streamers and everyone was just absolutely loading the fucking dump trucks with cash and just dumping them in their backyards, no one was crying then. No one was crying about, oh, I feel so much pressure to play Among Us today. Other than that, what fucking pressure? Like, what, what are you changing about your streaming? They're all the fucking same. You just sit in front of a camera and talk and occasionally play video games. With that being said, I don't really know what pressure she's talking about, all right? Like, y you show up to a fucking job and you do what's asked of you. Now, in her case, she is the fucking boss, all right? If she don't want to stream today... I mean, she doesn't have to. You know these simps are gonna show up at 4.30 a.m. or 4.30 p.m. It doesn't fucking matter. With that being said, I'm gonna save you guys the brain cells here. She essentially finishes off the video by saying she doesn't know what's next in her future. She doesn't know if she's gonna continue streaming on Twitch. She plans to do a lot more of, like, Instagram and Twitter and that kind of shit. Because, you know, she needs to take care of her mental health because... For some reason, life is just so difficult when your bank account is so big and your house is so nice and you drive a brand new car and you have enough money to take an entire month off of work. I mean, hell, you could take a year off of work probably and be just fine. It feels really relieving to say like, I'll see you guys when I see you. But yeah, you'll see me across all platforms, especially like Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. You always see me on those. I just want to feel like I have the freedom to post wherever I want, whenever I want. So she says, I just want to have the freedom to post wherever I want, whenever I want. That's great, you know? You do you. At the end of the day, I don't give a fuck, alright? Your life does not influence mine whatsoever, other than the fact I get to make videos on you, and uh, usually they do pretty well, so I, I do appreciate that, you know? If there's one good thing I could say about Pokimane, it's if you put her name in a title, it usually does pretty well. But, like, I already know how this is gonna go, dude, alright? She's gonna sit here and tell us she's saving mental capital, gonna post TikToks and shit now. 
And in six months, she's going to complain about her numbers. And now her mental health is just absolutely fucking trashed because she uploads a video six months from now when her channel is officially fucking dead and no one's really active on it anymore. And then we just repeat this cycle over and over and over again. You know, the numbers, they're not there. And then the numbers are there, but I'm feeling so much pressure to play this new video game. And listen, all right, I am losing fucking brain cells by the second. I can fucking feel it, dude. My, 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 oh my God. Uh, no, the, 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 the pokey bug, it got me. I, I didn't get my vaccine. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I also appreciate the world's greatest fucking channel members. All right. These people, they really are the greatest. I don't know what else. And of course, everyone watching the videos too. I also, I appreciate everyone, man. I, I really do. Shout out to Abby Blackbird, Jenna Tolls, Savarstis, and that's it. Guys, thank you so much for the support. Really does mean everything to me. If you want to support the channel yourself, you can uh, click that blue join button and become a member. Uh, but if you don't want to do that, you can always leave a like on the video because I am trying to leave my load inside of Susan, also known as a cream pie, and I'm trying to do that. And if you like the video, maybe Susan will see it and we can actually make that shit happen. Uh, but if not, you can always subscribe to the channel too. That is also an option for you if you want to see videos in the future. And with that being said, I will catch you all next time. Have a great day and uh, later. I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. The world's going to see your shit. I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? Where people would try to accredit a female streamer's success to their male partner. Shut up, bitch!